Uh, and the other one was this $19 app called Ecamm Call Recorder. And I'm actually running it right now. And all it does is record Skype calls. But not just audio, it'll record video. Um, and I would see these people interviewing other people on Skype. And I would constantly be like, how did you do that? You know, yeah. I'd email them, how did you do that? And one, the, one after another, they were all like, oh, I used Ecamm Call Recorder. And I'm like, this $20 app, I tried seven different apps on Windows. <laughs> and not one of them. Could could come up with a good recording of Skype. Uh, uh-huh. So this little app actually plugs into Skype, and then I can either what I'm trying right now is I can record split screen, yes. uh, picture in picture, or I can do what I'm trying right now because I wanted to test it. Uh, I had a question for you yeah. about this. It will record two separate video tracks, so your track will be one and my track will be different, and then I should be able to bring them into screen flow. And because I, I was asking like, how can I cut back and forth? I don't always want it to be split screen two shot, you know, when I'm interviewing oh, somebody. Oh, that's cool. And so I was thinking I'd have to use screen flow and somehow zoom in on one picture and then zoom back, but I didn't know how well that would work with the perspective. But because this can record two separate tracks, I'm thinking I should be able to just pull them in and just cut between them. You know, when I want it to be two, I can have two. If I just want you talking, sure. if I just wanted me talking. Um, Sounds plausible. Uh, so the Ecamm, uh, the Ecamm recorder uh that actually you're saying that plugs into skype you, that's you, right you don't download it on your mac i download it but when i install it the way i launch it is i tell it to either launch every time i launch skype or what i just did with us is i said view and in the view menu in skype it says call recorder and i choose that and it brings up this little control over here uh and this control lets me start the recording or stop the recording and then in the settings of skype there's a new folder tab under preferences and it says call recorder and that's where I choose do I want 640 by 480 or 320 oh, do I want what? split screen and I gotta tell you the thing's been almost flawless for me I've recorded tons of Skype interviews um, oh that's great if that's you go to my of, if you go to my site content. or my uh, I'll send you a link later um, I did a few interviews with some other folks and I did them all with that but I did them all split screen and that was part of the thing I was going to ask you was like, had you ever used this program? And if so, how did you cut back and forth if you ever did? You know, because mm-hmm. the split screen, the way, just the way it does, it's 640 before 80 in split screen. So to zoom in on one person uh, is kind of difficult because you have to zoom so far in. And in a shot frame the way you and I have right now, where it's pretty much just, you know, head yeah. to here. I can only zoom in so close. Yeah, without too- it distorting or That's getting right. blurred and exactly. stuff like that. Yeah, um, I understand. But but this uh, program for like I said for nineteen bucks it it amazes me because I couldn't find anything on the Windows side to do this, um, and it's just phenomenal. And that's what I do anytime I'm recording Skype. Everything else I record, I record with ScreenFlow, uh, except for Skype. I use this. 